welcome to the OG Duffy channel and more importantly our very first ever retro video game quiz right here. Okay, how it works, really simple. All there is, there's five rounds in total, okay? Just the five and all you gotta do is answer the first, the ten questions for each round. Simple, anyone can do it. So we do, answer the questions, drop them down on a piece of pe paper if you like, or do them in your head. And at the end of each round, what we'll do, we'll go through and give you the answers, okay? So, at the very end of the fifth round, tally up your total points and put them in the comments. Really simple, okay? So without further ado, let's get straight to it. Here's round one. Okay, here we go, OG Duffy's Retro Game Quiz. This is our first round. Uh, as I've already said to you guys right at the beginning, it's a fun quiz. Make a note of your score and comment your results at the end. Secondly, good luck and have fun. Okay, here we go. So this is the first round. Uh, this round is name the console system. So you're going to see an image of a console. Simply name it, all right? Obviously, to make it a quiz, I have removed any names on said console systems. Because obviously it would be too easy. Anyway, here we go. Number one. Are you ready? Right, here we go. Older system here. What is the name of this system? Personally, I've never owned one of these and I can't recall playing on one either. Okay. So what is the name of this system? Did you own one? If so, let me know in the comments. Interesting. Number two. Classic. I actually had this version of it. Um, loved it. Great little system. Still own one. But the model's slightly different to this. I'd be careful what I say. I can't give any answers away. So that's number two. Okay, number three. This system here. Again, never owned one of these. Um, and I don't think I've ever played them. Well, I know I've never played on one. I've never known anyone who had one of these. But there you go. That is number three. Number four. Got one of these boxed in the in my garage. Um can't say too much. Don't want to ruin it. But there you go. That's number four. What is the name of this console, please? Takes us to number five. Here we go. I've also got one of these boxed in my garage and in this same colour. Great little system, this. I really love these. Uh, anyway, there you go. Number five. Take a look. What are you thinking? Get your answers down. Number six. An oldie but a goldie. An original, can't say too much, nor will I, but here you go. I did have one of these, I no longer have it. I know a lot of people took these and made them into a sort of a MAME emulating machines and stuff. Okay, number seven. Here we go. That classic. What's the name of it, please? That's number seven. Yes, I've got one of these in a drawer downstairs somewhere. Number eight. There we go. Bit trickier, this one. You might recognise the shape, but can, can you get the title of the console correct? That's number eight. Okay. Number nine. Oh, amazing machine. I've not got any box, but I've got about four loose ones in my garage in, in a box, but not in the official box. But I love this console. And the final console of this round is this one here. What is it? Just name the console. Now, nice, easy round to get you all warmed up there, I feel. So let's go through the answers now. Okay, here we go. Answers time. So this was number one, and this is the Intellivision. The Intellivision system. Released about the same time as the Atari VS, VCS, I believe. Number two. Of course, the Sega Master System. Master System, that one, by Sega. Number three. This was a Philips CDI machine. Come out in a few different formats, I believe, but this was one of them, and one of the earliest, I believe. Uh, never owned one, but it was great for laser disc games. Mad Dog McCree, Dragon's Lair, and all that sort of stuff. So Philips CDI is the correct answer. Number four. Of course, it's a Sega, and it's the Sega Saturn. Sega Saturn. Number five, that classic Nintendo GameCube. Loved this little system, really did. Great little games on here. Nintendo GameCube, that one. Number six, the very first Xbox by Microsoft. And of course, that's it. It's the Xbox, isn't it? What more do you want to know? <laughs> Number seven, the Nintendo Wii. The Nintendo Wii, of course it is. Everyone got this, surely. 
number eight. This one's a bit trickier, but the, the hardcore amongst you would have got this no problem. And this is the Atari 5200, the Atari 5200. So 5200 by Atari. Number nine, of course, this here is the Super Famicom or Super Nintendo by uh, Nintendo, of course, no doubt. So there you go. Number 10, of course, this is the PlayStation 3. This is the fat version, which I think had a 60 gigabyte hard drive on it. And with some of these were also backward compatible, so it made them a bit more collectible. So that concludes the first round. Very nice, easy round to get you all warmed up, but it's gonna get tougher from here on in. Brilliant, round one there. All completed. How did you do? A great start, I'm hoping. Because a nice, easy round, I thought, to ease you guys into it, all right? But anyway, without further ado, let's get to it. Round two. So here we go. Round two. This time, it's Name the Game. And it's quite a simple round. You will see a screenshot of a game. All you got to do is simply give me the name of the game. Simple. Not the name of the system, just the name of the game. So let's kick this one off. Are you ready? So, first off, here we go. Name this game, number one. Classic this, uh, played it uh, quite a bit, but I've never finished it, never got to the end. I must revisit it sometime. That's number one. What's the name of this game? Number two. Owned a copy of this, quite enjoyed it actually. There it is, that's number two. Again, we're not interested in the system it's being played on. Just name the title of the game, please. Just the title of the game. Number three. Title of the game, please. Obviously, as you can see graphically, a bit of a later release, shall we say. Name the game. Number four. Oh, classic. Come on in. Tell me the name of this one. You got it, but I want the full title, please. The full title. Number five. Here we go. Thoroughly enjoyable game. Very original title. Loved it. But what t uh, title was it? Come on, give me the name. Number six. Again, we all know that that character is Zelda, okay? No points for Zelda, I'm afraid. But give me the full title of this game. The full title of the game. Number seven. Here we go. An oldie but a goldie. Name me this game, please. Be a tough for some of you. But some of you, if you know it, it's one of them you just know it instantly. All right, that's number seven. Number eight. Oh, played this to bits in the arcades, mate. Awesome game. But I want the title. Nothing else. Just the title, please. Next one. Nine. Here we go. I think this might stump a few of you. Okay. Got to throw a little, a few curveballs in there. Title of this game, please. Number ten. And again, the title of this game. Uh, certain age generations will get them last two, maybe. But um, I think number nine is probably the tough one there that might throw you. Okay. So let's go. Let's get on with the answers of this uh, second round here, which was name the game. This, of course, is the Final Fantasy game. And it's Final Fantasy VII. Final Fantasy VII. Number two here. Enduro Racer. Enduro Racer. Now, this was out on several systems, but the system this one is showing graphics from is the Master System. So, number three. Crazy Taxi. Brilliant game on several formats. Arcade, Dreamcast, etc. Great game. Crazy Taxi. Number four. Right, okay. Let's see how many of you got this. This is The Secret of Monkey Island. Oh, it's an amazing game. This uh, point-and-click adventure Quite good humour, etc. And very addictive at the time. Question number five. Super Monkey Ball. Super Monkey Ball. Number six. This, of course, was a Zelda game, as I pointed out to everybody. But this is Zelda Wind Waker. Wind Waker. On number seven. This here, ZX Spectrum game. Jetpack. Jetpack. Number eight. Star Force. Star Force. This one here, which I think might have stumped a few. King's Bounty. 
King's Bounty on the Mega Drive. Lovely little game. Really enjoyed. Played put hours into this. Great game if you've not played before. King's Bounty on the Mega Drive. And your last one here is Dungeon Master. Dungeon Master. So that concludes the second round. Tally up your score. Let's see how well you're doing. So how well did you do in round number two? Slightly harder, I think, than the first round. But hey, nothing's ever easy. But you guys know your stuff. I know that for sure. So without further ado, let's get straight to round number three, which is game adverts. See how well you remember these. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. This is round three, game adverts. You will see an image of a video game advert with the title blurred out, name the game. So here we go. Kicking it off, number one here. Now, for this one, I want the full title of the game, please. The full title. Okay. The main title may be clearly obvious to some of you, but I want the full title for the full point. Number two. There we go. This was a game by Spectravision for the uh, Atari VCS system. Experience a real meltdown. Mate, I have some of them every day. Not really. <laughs> but what's the title of this game, number two? Number three. Quite a straightforward advert, this one. Didn't say an awful lot. Didn't have to. But what was the title of the game for this advert, number three? Here we go, number four. Slightly older title here. Showing actual screenshots from the Atari ST, Commodore 64, the actual Mac, and an, an Apple computer too. There you go. But what was the title of this Cineware game? Number five. Oh, brilliant game. But what was it called? As you know, as you can see there, come out on the Xbox. Stunning game. But the title of it, please. Number six. An NES game here. But what was the title? What was the title? Number seven. Oh, oh, I say. Oh, who were? Uh, here we go. This is when video game adverts were quality. Or maybe not so much. I don't think you can get away with it these days. But hey, it was the 80s and uh, early 90s these games were about. Or this one was late 90s. But there you go. What's the name of this game? Next one. Classic. Look at that. What an advert, eh? If that's not going to make you buy a game, nothing will. What's the name of it, though, please? That's number eight. Number nine, another ooh ah missus job. But what's the title of the game? As you can see there, a little hint for you in the corner. Sierra Software did this. Sierra Software. What's the name of the game? And the last one to conclude this round. What was the name of this game? Okay. Name of this title, please. Bit trickier, that one, I think, for some of you. Right. So without further ado, here we go. Let's get to the answers, shall we, for the game adverts round, which is our third round. So the title of this game was Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Now, if you put Castlevania, you get half a point. If you put Symphony of the Night, you get the full point, all right? So... There you go. Great game. Cost a bit now. Number two. The title we're looking for is China Syndrome. China Syndrome. Okay. Number three. Dead Space. Dead Space, that one. Number four. There you go. Defender of the Crown. Defender of the Crown. Oh, number five. Brilliant game. All right there, a check-in kicker. Fable. Fable. Number six. This is Mighty Final Fight. Now, if you just put Final Fight, I'll let you have the point, all right? But if you put Mighty Final Fight, hey, I'll tip my hat to you. Very well played. Mighty Final Fight, this one. Number seven. Gex Free. Gex free. Now, again, with this one, if you put Gex, you get half a point. And if you put Gex free, you get the full point. All right. I think that's only fair. And another lovely advert there. Uh, Haunted Castle was this one. Haunted Castle. There you go, by Konami. Haunted Castle. Number nine, Leisure Suit Larry. Leisure Suit 
Larry. A new game of his coming out shortly, I believe. I could be mistaken. And number 10, Wizard of War. Wizard of War. So that concludes the third round. How well are you doing? Keep telling your scores up. And onwards and upwards. Round number four. Now, what have I got planned for you this time? Video game music. But these are all from soundtracks from arcade machines from back in the day, okay? So you're going to see the blurred image and you'll hear the sound along with the game sounds across the, uh, the, the, the soundtrack. So, see how many of these bad boys you get. Are you ready? Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. And lastly, number 10. So how do you feel you did that round? Well, we'll soon find out. Let's go. Here's the answers. First off, R-Type is the answer. 1987's classic arcade shooter by IRAM Corporation. R Type. Contra, Konami's 1987 shoot and run game. Ghouls and Ghosts, that Capcom classic from 1988, Ghouls and Ghosts. (laughs) 
another Capcom classic. Commando, 1985. Commando. The Amazing Double Dragon by Technos, released in 1987. Double Dragon. Golden Axe, Sega's 1989 classic, Golden Axe. Another Sega classic, this time Outrun from 1986. Another run and gun shooter, this time the classic Rolling Thunder from 1986. Uh, so the answer we're looking for is Rolling Thunder. Street Fighter 2, that classic by Capcom, released in 1991. And finally, Sega's Wonder Boy from 1986, Wonder Boy. And the fifth and final round coming up. Name the game year. You guys have got this. Come on. This is the last round. Okay, so here we go. This is the final round now. So you'll be seeing an image of a video game. And all you have to do is choose the year of release from the choices. Now, I've made this multiple choice to easy, make it a bit easier for you. So you've got a choice of four answers. So if you don't know, have a guess anyway. You've got a good chance. Well, 25% chance of getting it correct. So here we go. Okay, number one. Year of release. This was uh, Street Fighter 2. This was on the Mega Drive. Okay, so the Mega Drive edition of Street Fighter 2. Was it released in 1991, 92, 93 or 94? A, B, C or D. So Street Fighter 2 for the Sega Mega Drive. Number two. Year of release, this was River Raid, a video game cartridge for use on the Atari VCS or the 2600, it was also known. So was this released in 81, 82, 83 or 84? Okay, 81, 82, 83 or 84, River Raid by Activision, great game. Number three, here we go. This one changed first person shooters as we know it, it was brilliant for its time, but... What year was it released? Was it 1998, 1999, the year 2000, or the year 2001? That, of course, is the first ever Halo game released on the Xbox, of course. So 88, sorry, 98, 99, 2000, or 2001. Number four. Here we go. Oh, mate, we're looking at old school gaming right now. This was the uh, Sinclair ZX Spectrum, okay? But what year was it released? Was it 1980, 81, 82 or 83? And this is Attic Attack by Ultimate Play the Game. 1980, 81, 82 or 83. A brilliant software company, them guys. Went on to become Rare Software, I believe. Number five. Here we go. The first classic Tomb Raider game. And Tomb Raider was first released, actually, on the Sega Saturn system, believe it or not. So, was it released in 93, 94, 95, or 96? That's the classic Tomb Raider. 93, 94, 95, or 1996. Number six. Right, here we go. This was the Virtual Boy. Uh, a console released by Nintendo. Uh, wasn't majorly popular, but hey... 
collectors get it these days. And this was one of the games released on it. It's Mario's Tennis. But what year was this game released? Was it 95, 96, 97 or 98? Again, if you don't know, have a guess. Stab at it, okay? Number seven. Year of release. This was the Grand Theft Auto game. Very controversial for its time. Uh, the very first one on the PlayStation. But yet, what year was it released? Was it 96, 97, 98 or 1999? Number 8. There. Yeah, year of release. This was Exploding Fist. And this is on the Commodore 64. Obviously, it released on other home consoles. and uh, Sorry, not consoles so much, but more your uh, home computers at the time. And what year was this released? Was it 84, 85, 86 or 1987? And that's the way of the exploding fist. And number nine. Year of release, please, for this. This was uh, on GameCube. It's Star Wars Rogue Leader. Great little game. I love this. Uh, I've got a sec follow-up to this as well. Uh, was this released in 1998, 1999, the year 2000, or the year 2001? And that's Star Wars Rogue Leader on the Nintendo GameCube. Next up, Jumping Flash on the PS1. But what year was it released? 93, 94... 95 or 1996 and that jumping flash on the playstation one so let's kick off let's get the answers for this final round and get your total scores together for you ready to post them in the comments below let's see how well you did so number one the year of release for this was 1993 on street fighter 2 for the sega mega drive was released in 1993 number two 1982 is the correct answer here for Activision's River Raid on the Atari 2600 system. 1982. Next one. This was here, the Xbox Halo. The first of a Halo game was 2001. 2001. Number four. Attic Attack on the ZX Spectrum. This was released in 1983. 1983. Number five. Year of release was 1996, the first ever Tomb Raider game, 1996. Number six, year of release, Virtual Boy, Mario's Tennis, this was it, 1995, 1995. Number seven, first Grand Theft Auto game, 1997, 1997. Number eight, the year of the uh, year of release for this was 1985, The Way of the Exploding Fist. Brilliant game, 1985. Number nine, Rogue Leader on the GameCube was 2001. 2001. Here we go, Jumping Flash, PS1, the last answer, 1995. 1995. Okay, very well done, folks. Tally up your points. Let me know in the comments what score you did, what score you got. Let me know what rounds you liked. Let me know if you enjoyed the quiz, etc. And if so, we'll do it again. I'll do another one for us, okay? With different rounds, though. I'll, I'll specialise the rounds up and all that. And any suggestions, let me know. Now, please do subscribe and all that good stuff, please. Always helpful and useful. And uh, thanks for taking part. Um, hopefully, see you all again soon. Cheers. If you watch the video and you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe for more great videos. Thanks for watching.